Part 14, Resonance in Visual Experience. In 1966, Heinrich Kluver performed an experiment where he uh, gave subjects LSD, uh, had them relax in a dark space, and record the experience that they had. The subjects reported seeing lattice, fretwork, filigree, honeycomb, chessboard, cobwebs, tunnel, and funnel patterns appearing spontaneously in their experience in a rapid succession so they hardly had time to report their shape. It turns out that these kinds of hallucinations are seen in many other examples of neurophysiological stress, including falling asleep, waking up, insulin, hypoglycemia, the delirium of fever, epilepsy, psychotic episodes, advanced syphilis, sensory deprivation, photostimulation, electrical stimulation, crystal gazing, migraine headaches, dizziness, and a variety of, of drug intoxication in our art and the primitives of visual perception. Artist Louis Wayne in the 1800s made a profession out of uh, drawing cute pictures of cats. He was then inflicted with a progressive psychosis that manifested itself in his art. His earlier pictures looked something like this, a perfectly reasonable picture of a cat, but observe the crazy immersion of chaotic periodic patterns above its head here in the background. His later pictures got more and more elaborate in color and in uh, periodic patterns, and some of his latest pictures looked like this, where the image seems to completely collapse into total patterns of complete symmetry. When we observe psychedelic art, we see a common theme of the spontaneous emergence of symmetry and periodicity in ornamental type patterns. This one is Alex Gray, The Visionary Origin of Language. Here's another painting by Alex Gray, Newborn. I think it's a great depiction of what the experience of the newborn must be like with overwhelming rainbows of symmetry and periodicity until he learns to view the world through all that chaotic confusion. And another Alex Gray painting, Over Soul. The central figure is like the, your unified consciousness and the fragmented patterns uh, is his mind expanding <clears throat> into infinity and, and at the same time shattering into a grid of eyeballs. The eyeballs are not a hallucination of eyeballs all staring at him. Those are all of them his eyeball, each one individually viewing the world. Here is an extraordinary um, animation by Haman, Stephen Haman, artwork by Salvia Droid. Observe the relationship between the visual images and the sound. I propose that the sound that you hear in these extreme states of consciousness is the sound of your visual system painting out the patterns of experience. Part 15, Conclusion. The evidence for a harmonic spatial representation in the brain is overwhelming. Harmonic resonance is the only plausible mechanism to account for the gestalt properties of perception. Music, mathematics, and visual ornament are artifacts of a harmonic resonance representation. 
As long as neuroscience fails to detect pictures in the brain, it must be tuned to the wrong channel. Because I know there are pictures in there, I can see them from the inside. It's time for philosophy to inform neuroscience instead of the other way around.